I have a few samples uh, here in my possession that were sent to me by people recently. Um, I'm trying to get to them as fast as I can. And um, if a, you know, a couple months goes by between the time you uh, see me opening a box with samples and the time I taste the samples, it's because, well, I'm pretty busy tasting whiskey. Uh, tasting whiskey uh, bottles that uh, are still sealed. I've got about nine months of whiskey purchases to go through at the moment. And uh, I will start purchasing more whiskey again really soon now, uh, now that my uh, debts are paid off. Okay, I have here a Craig and Moore Distiller's Edition, which was uh, sent to me by Rene of uh, Saulig. Uh, whiskey Reviews, Sour Lake stands for um, Scotch, no, Society of Whiskey Loving Elderly Gentlemen, that's Sour Lake. They're not even that old. I mean, I'm older than both of those guys. They're pretty young. They don't have any gray hair. But anyway. Ah. This was sent to me by Rene. I'm assuming that it is 40% uh, alcohol by volume, just like the regular Craig and Moore. And um, I'm also guessing that it's 12 years old. I think that's how old the regular Craig and Moore is, if I recall, without looking at the box that's somewhere back there. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's 12 years old. So without any further messing around, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pour me a dram. There it is, the Cragenmore Distillers Edition. I've never had this before. I've never even seen it anywhere. But I have had other Diageo Distillers Editions. I have had the Dalwini. I have had Talisker. I have had uh, Lagavulin. I have had uh, Glen Kimchi. I have had. Yes, I have even had um, the one to the north that I like a lot. Uh, don't you hate when that happens? It's on the tip of your tongue, the name of the Kleinlich. There it is. It still comes up. It just takes a little while to sort through and, and, and emerge. <laughs> so, yeah, I've had quite a number of uh, Diageo. Distillers editions, but not this one. I've never seen this one anywhere. And uh, legwise, oh, they run right down. Yeah, that belies the forty percent. Smells nice though. Getting some sherry cask influence here. I wonder what kind of sherry they're using. Should I Google that? No, let's not Google it. Let's just enjoy it. It's a sherry cask, definitely. I'm getting fruits, dark fruits, medium to dark fruits, red fruits. Um, I'm getting some vanilla, some maltiness. Although what I'm getting is maltiness could be coming from the sherry cask. There is a, a, some component of sherry cask maturation that masquerades as maltiness. At least to me. I'm getting quite a bit of that now. I don't know if it's wood tannins or something to do with European oak. Quercus rober, or robur, whichever the case may be. R-O-B-U-R, pronounces it, pronounce it however you like. Ah. There's a lot of that maltiness. There's still some of that red, dark fruits, plums. Grapes, raisins, well, grapes and raisins are the same thing, but, you know, 
Got a prune chew, a little bit of prune juice. Seem to be the same kind of flavors that come up every time you have the same or similar kind of maturation or finish. This is finished rather than fully matured, I believe. So it's matured just like um, the regular Crag and Moor up to a certain point and then it's finished in the sherry casks of some kind. Is it Oloroso? Is it PX? I can't really tell. I'll have to taste it to know better. The one thing I like about Crag and Moor, even though it is um, a low ABV, it has big flavors and I'm getting those big flavors on the nose too. Of course it's covered over somewhat with the sherry cask influence. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm. It's kind of sour. Kind of sour. And kind of, well, I'm getting lots of flavors. They're quite in your face. Most of all, it's sour. Could that be from an acidic contribution of the former contents of the sherry casks that were used? Nose is lovely. I'll have to go for a second sip to see. Ah, that's better. I mixed it with a bit of saliva and I get a relatively inoffensive sherry overcoat that's covering the usual delicious flavors of Crag and Moor. Hmm. Yeah, on second and third sips, that um, sourness and um, slightly burning the alcohol note is gone. I get uh, a sherry coat all over the mouth. The mouth is coated with sherry. I think it might be PX because it's sweet. It's quite sweet. So I'm guessing it may be PX. Um, that would be Pedro Jimenez uh, sherry cast. I could always be wrong, uh, but that's what I'm inclined to to say now it has a finish and the finish is hanging on the finish is more of that um, red fruits and some a little bit of sourness still so where's the sourness coming from I'm not sure maybe it is from the, the sherry that they used um, the usual flavors of uh, I guess ginger and honey excuse me are kind of there flavors that you typically get or that I typically get out of Crag and Moor and a maltiness but they are not as prevalent they're covered over by the sherry sometimes it happens that 
I would rather not have the sherry and have the whiskey as it was before it was matured, or shall we say, before it was finished in uh, in sherry. Would a little bit of water do anything to it? Probably just water it down, but we'll try. Here's a drop. There's another little bit. See what that does to it. Probably won't improve much. Ah. I think it it diminished some of the sherry cask influence. I'm getting more of your usual Craig and more notes. The other thing is, how long has this bottle been open before the sample was taken? I don't know. So there are variables that I have no control over. Hmm. Usually, with a 40% alcohol by volume whiskey, water doesn't do it any favors. But this one, it's taken that little bit of sourness and harshness away. It's made it infinitely more drinkable. While leaving a lot of the sherry fruity notes there, it has brought out more of the usual Craig and More 12 characteristics. Namely, some of that honey and ginger that I really like from Craig and More. Um, yeah, it's possible to peel away some of that uh, sherry overcoat from the Distillers Edition Craig and More. Very nice, interesting sample. Thank you very much, Renee from Sowleg, the Society of Whiskey Loving Elderly Gentlemen, for uh, making it possible for this to uh, be in my possession. Thank you very much once again, and Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs>